हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक यू ऑल इन आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हियर विद क्लास सेवेंथ मैथमेटिक्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेकंड चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस एंड डेसिमल्स एक्सरसाइज 2.1 बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर एक्सरसाइज 2.1 वी हैव टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज फ्रैक्शन ओके सो व्हाट इज फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ए होल a part of a whole quantity okay for example we have a plain paper like this and we divide that paper into four equal parts so each part is a fraction of that whole paper okay and we can uh, uh, as we know uh, we have divided the paper into four equal parts so each part can be written as 1 upon 4 one fourth okay so that 1 upon 4 is a fraction right so we can uh, also uh, write it as numerator upon denominator right now we will talk about uh, proper fraction and improper fraction so what is proper fraction proper fraction proper fraction means a fraction having numerator less than denominator okay it will be in the form n upon d numerator upon denominator okay so a fraction in which numerator is less than denominator that is uh, known as that is called proper fraction or proper fraction in terms of uh, its meaning we can say proper fraction is a part of a whole quantity this is actual part of a whole quantity like 1 upon 4 is a proper fraction second one is improper fraction improper fraction so what is improper fraction in terms of mathematics we can say a fraction having numerator greater than denominator greater than denominator that is uh, Known as improper fraction. For example, we can take here as seven upon four. So here numerator seven is greater than four. Okay, so seven upon four is a is an improper fraction, right? Improper fraction is also known as mixed fraction because we can write seven upon four as one uh, three upon. Four, four one jah four, four plus three is seven, seven upon four. So that is also known as mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. And what is improper fraction by meaning? Improper fraction is a whole and a proper fraction. It is a combination. Improper fraction is a combination of whole and a fraction. Okay. so it is proper fraction improper fraction and that all is about fraction now we will discuss the questions given in exercise 2.1 let us discuss first question of this exercise so first question is given solve uh, first part 2 minus 3 upon 5 2 is also a fraction we can write it as 2 upon 1 and uh, actually 2 is a whole number but we can make it in the form n upon d So two minus three upon five. Here uh, it is fifth part because uh, we have given here seven part in first questions. Okay, out of this we have taken here first and fifth part. So let us solve these two parts. First part. Okay, two minus three upon five. Two minus three upon five. We can take one in upon of two as two can be written as two upon one minus three upon five. Now we will take the LCM of denominators and it will be five. It will be five. Now we will multiply two by five minus. We will divide LCM by. This five will get one three into one. 
okay so simply we'll get here it as 2 5 ja 10 minus 3 upon 5 and it will be 7 upon 5 or finally in terms of mixed fraction uh, we can also write it as uh, 1 2 upon 5 you want 2 upon 5 one pass case here we have to divide the numerator 7 by denominator 5 5 1 is 5 7 minus 5 is 2 ok so this 1 will be the quotient on dividing the value of quotient will be whole number ok that 1 is whole number and the remainder will be the remainder will become numerator and d will be as it is this 5 will be as it is so this is in terms of mixed fraction so you have to solve the first question like this now we will discuss part number 5 so what is fifth part fifth part is 7 upon 10 plus 2 upon 5 plus 3 upon 2 now all the all denominators are different here so we will take the lcm of denominators we will take lcm of denominators so it is what lcm of 10 5 and 2 we can take this LCM like this 10 5 2 you can take the LCM in rough 2 5 is 10 5 it is 2 1 2 5 5 1 1 ok so LCM is what LCM is 2 into 5 so LCM will be 2 into 5 equal to 10 it is very simple the LCM is 10 so LCM is 10 now how to to further we will divide the LCM in case of each fraction we have to divide the LCM by denominator of first fraction which is 10 so 10 we will divide by 10 we will get 1 and we will multiply that one with the numerator of first fraction okay you have to understand this step sign is here plus next is 2 next is 2 now we have to multiply 2 by which number how we will get that number we will divide the LCM by the denominator of second fraction so 10 divided by 5 we will get 2 2 so we will multiply that 2 with this 2 here like this okay 2 into 2 again the sign is here plus plus we will again divide the LCM by denominator of third fraction and it is we will get 5 we will multiply that 5 with the numerator of the third fraction so it is 3 into 5 okay LCM is 10 and it is equal to further 7 into 1 7 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 3 into 5 15 divided by 10 finally 7 plus 4 11 plus 15 is 26 by 10 okay and uh, we can also write this in terms of improper fraction, uh, in terms of mixed fraction, or either this is the answer, okay? Or we can also write it as 10, 6 upon, uh, 26 is here, 2, 6 upon, 10 is also one of the answer. Dono answer aapke sahi hai, it is in terms of improper fraction, it is in terms of mixed fraction, okay? So this was your fifth part of first question. Now we will discuss 
सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू अरेज द फॉलोइंग इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज अरेज द फॉलोइंग अरेज द फॉलोइंग इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके सो हेयर टू पार्ट आर गिवन लेट एस टू वन पार्ट पार्ट नंबर टू वन अपॉइंट फाइव कॉमा थ्री अपॉइंट सेवन कॉमा सेवन अपॉइंट टेन सो वी हैव गिवन हेयर थ्री फ्रैक्शन एंड वी हैव टू अरेज दैम इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर you know very well what is descending order so first of all we have to make all the fractions as like fractions just all the fractions are unlike fractions because they have no common denominator so we have to bring the common common denominator here so it will be uh, then like uh, like fractions and then we can easily compare them uh, as At as in descending orders, okay. So first of all, to bring them all the given fractions in uh, in terms of like fractions, we have to take the LCM of denominators, okay. So first of all, we will take LCM, LCM of five, seven, and ten. It will be five, seven, ten. Two five seven five five one seven one and else it will be seventy because two into five into seven it will be seventy else it will be seventy now one upon five will be equal to one upon five so five we have to multiply. To get t here as seventy, we have to divide the LCM by denominator of first fraction, which is five. We will get fourteen. So fourteen here and fourteen here. So fourteen one ja, fourteen upon fourteen five ja seventy. Second one, second one is three upon seven. It will be equal to three upon seven. We have to multiply by a number. Which will give us the denominator here seventy. So we have to divide seventy by seven. We will get ten. So we have to multiply this by ten. We can also mention here because seventy divided by denominator five we will get here fourteen. So we have to multiply fourteen by seventy. 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 So we have to multiply पर टेन से मल्टीप्लाई किया हमने लास्ट वन इज सेवन अपॉन टेन ओके सो इट विल बी सेवन इंटू एंड टेन इंटू इट इज वेरी सिंपल सेवन एंड हेयर इट इज थर्टी इट इज फोर्टी नाइन अपॉन सेवनटी सो वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट हेयर बिकॉज वी डिवाइड सेवनटी बाई टेन वी गेट सेवन राइट नाउ इट इज वेरी इजी टू कंपेयर D is common here, seventy seventy, and we have to compare the numerators. Okay, so since forty nine is greater than thirty is greater than fourteen, it implies what? It implies forty nine upon seventy is greater than thirty upon seventy is greater than fourteen upon. Seventy, and now we have to write the main fractions. It, hence, we will write hence in required descending order. It will be seven upon ten greater than three upon seven greater than one upon five. So it is a required descending order of the given fraction. So, dear students, today we discuss first two questions of uh, exercise two point one. The remaining parts of first question and second questions 
uh, you have to do by yourself okay so practice more and more that's all